we just finished that. I don't even know what to call it. I thought I was gonna puke towards the end of it because it was intense. So try it out. No gym, no problem. You can get very creative. If you don't find a log, you can find a rock. If you don't find a rock, just use like, I don't know, your backpack or something or just switch up some of the workouts uh, to make it fit your specific needs. But the sand, like running in the sand is so hard. So when you're sprinting, it feels like you're going a lot slower, but it takes a lot from you, you know? The cool thing I like about sprinting in the sand is that, you know, it's almost like lower impact. So I don't feel like I'm like effing up my knees because I'm not a sprinter. But yeah, we're just gonna head back to our little Airbnb, uh, change, clean up, and then walk to our next food destination, which is Cocobanas again. But this time we're gonna try out their breakfast uh, menu. Uh, 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 uh. We're back. What are we getting here? George is acting like he has never eaten before, so he's getting pancakes, tofu scramble with potato and pancakes, and then tofu scramble and toast. I mean, it's not like it's just me. We're splitting the three of them. Sure. You know. Obviously. Yeah. Alright. I'm gonna try the tofu scramble. I'm guessing it's Puerto Rican style, so let's see how it compares to mine. This is amazing. It's better than mine. It's really good. Ooh, it's really, really good. That's like very Puerto Rican. Okay, and then you wanna try the pancakes too? Yeah, let's try a little bite of the pancakes. Magic. Magic pancakes. They're gluten free and vegan. They taste good. I got all this action I'm about to dig into here. <clears throat> so we're walking by this place and look what we found. first bite of that banana bread and it's because George ate it all and only left me a little tiny piece. What do you have to say for yourself? Well I was hungry. She was busy yakking about God knows what and I was tired of waiting and I knew if I didn't just get that bite in it was gonna be probably 15 or 20 minutes before I ate any of the banana bread. So he ate it all and let me like this little baby piece. It's like, what the hell? Anyway, that was like a really cool little bakery that we saw, walked by, and I was like, that looks really cool. Let's just stop by and see if they have any vegan options. And they did, they just had one, but she told me they have more vegan options during the weekend. So that's so exciting that I could just walk to any little bakery here and they know what vegan is, so that got me really excited. All right, so we're here at Berlingetti. I hope I'm saying that right. <laughs> Doubt it. It's Puerto Rican vegan cuisine. We're very excited. It's kind of hidden. You have to go through like a parking lot and like car wash, but we'll see what all the fuss is about. This is like the place that everybody has been recommending me. Like everybody has been like, you have to go to this place. So let's check it out. 
This place is so warm and welcoming. The atmosphere is absolutely amazing. I am in love. It's not completely vegan, but they can pretty much make everything vegan. And I got a chance to see my childhood friends, my best friends. We all grew up together surfing. That's Coral and that's Mirida. And it was such an amazing time. We had a blast. Vegan Cubano, rice, and a salad. Check that out. Worth it if you ask me. What is she having? I'm having picadillo. It seems like it's lentil picadillo. Um, sweet plantains. Sweet plantains. Rice beans. Rice beans, avocado, and salad. So this is like a traditional Puerto Rican dish. This is like what people have for lunch here a lot. They have the sandwich, the Cubano, but this is like the vegan version of it. So I'm super excited to try it. It is so funny that my two besties from my childhood, I only haven't seen them for a few years and now they both have grown kids. I thought that was so funny and I got to meet a lot of them for the first time. So it was really a special time and a very exciting day for me. Now we're on our way to pick up a rental car. George is gonna get a workout in. I'm really sore all over after this morning's workout so I'm probably just gonna chill. <laughs> and do some work. I don't know what he wants to do for dinner. We've pretty much done everything here in San Juan. So, keep you guys posted. All right, last night in Puerto Rico and Babe decided he wanted to go and spend his last night at Latte. What is it? Latte yeah. Place with the pizza that we went to on day, uh, what day was that, Saturday? Yeah. Yeah, so it's, no, Sunday. Sunday, place we went to on Sunday. So it's called Latte 23 with all the little cute, um... The little outdoor place with the yeah. lights and the little food trucks. Yeah, tons of food trucks, tons of vegan options, so what do you want to do? So here's the plan we're going to get. We already know that the white pizza is a win, so we're going to get a white pizza. And then they also got a noodle bar type place and a pokey place. So we're going to get the white pizza, split it, pokey bowl split it noodle thing split it so we're gonna do like a sampler platter for the whole spot Boom. Lote 23 is one of the coolest places I ever been for like food. It has tons of like little trucks and it's super cute and the atmosphere is really nice. And then after our dinner, we went and walked around Old San Juan for our last night here and it was amazing. <laughs> hey guys, so drinking my coffee, about to head to my grandparents' house to cook some breakfast and enjoying the last sunrise of our trip to Puerto Rico. So yeah, it's a beautiful morning, very excited. There's nothing like homemade breakfast especially when you cook it for your loved ones. So I decided to cook this amazing breakfast for my whole entire family. There's my grandparents and my mom, and it was so nice to spend the last day with them. I hope you guys enjoyed this little Puerto Rico adventure series. George and I had a blast filming it for you guys, and I cannot wait to share with you the next one. 
So next week's video will be all about my improvement season and it'll be a little improvement season update, so stay tuned for that. If you guys enjoy the Puerto Rico Adventure Series, do not forget to give this video a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel if you are new here. And I'll see you next week, guys. Bye.